Hi, I'm Dawn Davis, and in just about one week's time, we'll be celebrating Ben Salem Fall Festival Celebrate Community Pride, which is Ben Salem Township's signature event. It's hard to believe, actually, that it's just rolling around in one week. I mean, between the TDBA, the success of our season, and we just roll right into the finale, so to speak. It's you know, the off uh, end of our TDBA season is the Fall Festival, of course, with our evening concert, which I'll get into. So parking is free and transportation is free. You would park at the Ben Salem High School, which is located at 4319 Humeville Road. And for our handicapped population, we do have free parking and transportation as well. That would be located at our Ben Salem Senior Center, located at, I believe it's 1800 Byberry Road. Either way, there are 10-minute loops all throughout the day. The event actually commences at 11 a.m. and continues throughout the day until the evening concert, which will happen approximately about 7, 7.15, and last till about 9.00 and then at which time uh, the fireworks extravaganza presented by Zambelli Brothers will um, go off. And it's wonderful this year. We, I mean, it's wonderful every year. Fireworks, no matter where you are, where you're watching them from, they're just always fantastic. The music that we have selected, of course, we've dedicated the music and the choreography per se, to you know, our hometown heroes our, and our heroes all throughout the country. It's all about the United States of America, the unity you know, as a country, and of course this day is about unity of a community. But this year we have some different entertainment. Uh, we no longer have the lions and tigers and bears, oh my, and uh, it just got to be a little costly and some of the funding had dried up for uh, those particular acts, and you want to change things up every once in a while. So this year I have an interesting event coming in. Uh, they're called Suey Pigs, and what they are, they're actually s similar to thoroughbred pig racing, and it is a hoot. I mean, these pigs are hilarious, and they're on a track with a starting gate, very similar to th thoroughbred racing, and we'll have three shows uh, with that. That's presented by FNF &F Entertainment. And we're going to have the Whatnot Farm Petting Zoo. The Bucks County Zoo will be here, the Animal Junction. We're going to have, uh, you know, Pony Express with the amusements. Uh, another new uh, addition this year, it's called Game and Ride. I actually was very excited about this. I am not an arcade person. I never was growing up as a kid. But, of course, it has, you know, it has become so very popular with all the you know, iPods and iPads and all the computer games, uh, you know, within the last 10 years. But what this is, it's a, a virtual arcade. It comes in on a, you know, like a tractor trailer. And it's all tricked out. And this, it has basically four or five 60-inch televisions upon which you can it's really oriented for family. You can play soccer, you know, the, he has Wii, and you can dance, and the music is phenomenal, the sound system that he has in there. And the way that we positioned it this year is there was a, there was a bunch of options where you could pay to go in and have the whole experience, but we didn't do that. We actually have provided it for you, our residents. The kids are going to have so much fun, and not only the kids, the adults. When the gentleman came to show me this awesome activity, his, he brought his little girl with, her, with him, and she was adorable. She was dancing to Katy Perry, and I couldn't help but start dancing to the music. It was just so good. So it, it'll really be an interactive thing for people of all ages. Now, of course, what would an event be without food? Our food vendor, Allie, is back. We have a couple different vendors this year, and also we have our police canine, and our there's going to be the mascots, and a version of the police uh, motorcycle show. I'm not really quite sure 
how they're positioning it this year, but I know it's somewhat different than it has been in the past, but they will be here. Uh, we have the Cool Beans Band coming in. Um, that's, that's for the children as well. We also have Michael Bonacci. He's been a staple of the Fall Festival for years, and he's a terrific magician. And we were having the car show, of course. We always have the car show. And there's been some infrastructure and building changes. If, you, you know, if you're from Ben Salem, you've, you've noticed. So the car show will be out in the, as you can, hey, look, did you see my hand disappear? It's certain elements with the virtual stage here. But it will be in the, I guess you would call the northwest corner of the complex here, but you can't miss it. Registration's at 8 a.m., we close it at 10, and for the car show enthusiast out there, you know the deal, you know what to do. And of course, if you're watching this today, which happens to be the 20th of September, you can give us a call at 215-633-3600. You can ask for me, Dawn Davis, if you need any information, I'll you know, absolutely try to help you. But time is of the essence, so you really need to give us a call. Uh, we actually have a really big surprise this year with a celebrity. We have Vince Papali of the Philadelphia Eagles fame and the focus of a movie called Invincible. He will be here between 2 and 3 p.m. I've actually nailed down the time and um, he actually has written a book and I believe it's called Being Invincible and I guess it's his journey through hard times and you know as most people know, he was a bartender, he was in his 30s, he, you know, he went out for the team. It, we're really excited to have this. He's a really nice guy, and he's a big um, a proponent in the prevention of colon cancer, being a survivor himself, and uh, it should be interesting. So, come on, you, you know, in, in addition to everything else we're going to have going on here, as the Uptown String Band runs around, um, you can go over and speak with Vince and perhaps maybe buy his book and he could sign it for you. Uh, like I said, a really nice guy. And I'm not going to go into what the vendors need and all that. You're, you're not interested in that. If you're a vendor, then you're already hooked up. You have your parking passes. But that being said, just remember, there is no parking here at the Fall Festival here at the Municipal Grounds at 2400 Byberry Road. You can only enter and exit the, our facility with a parking permit. That would come in your package if you are a sponsor, a vendor, a nonprofit group. Like I said, the parking and the transportation are free from Ben Salem High School to 2400 Byberry right here. And like I said, 10 minute loop all throughout the day. We will have we didn't have, le have it last year. There's still not an explanation why. They indicated they were coming, but we will have this year a wheelchair vendor to assist those residents who need assistance, as in renting a wheelchair to be able to, you know, attend the event and go through the facility. So that should work out this year. Now, as I stated, you have all this fun stuff all throughout the day. Then comes the evening, you know, there's a little bit of a lull at like 5 o'clock, and people who are veterans of this event, they'll go home, take a shower, get freshened up, and then they come back because what we have to offer in the evening is two phenomenal groups, Larry Chance and the Earls. Now, it's a doo-wop festival, what we're having that evening. And Larry Chance and the Earls will be opening for the happening. Now, Larry Chance is a guy born in South Philadelphia, uh, defining the music of rock and roll. Doo-wop is, you know, really the basis for a, a lot of music, other than gospel, of course, and, and the blues. But he got his start, you know, South Philly, but then he moved to the Bronx. And he met a bunch of guys who ended up being the Earls. And they're going to be performing an opening for the happenings. Now, some of the songs that Larry Chance and the Earls performed is Remember, like, Remember, 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 okay, just to give you a little flavor of that. And Life is But a Dream, Never, I Believe, Looking for My Baby, Kissing, and uh, a lot of songs that as soon as you hear them, you're going to recognize them, no matter how old you may be. And then, of course, we have the happenings. 
And the happenings, of course, one of their mainstay hits, which was on the Billboard charts, I think, for about 19 weeks. And the song that we always sang and the song that was popular at that time and for several years was See You in September. I got rhythm, um, just so many songs. Uh, they're all from Patterson, New Jersey. They're still going strong. Uh, Go Away Little Girl is probably another one that our viewers may be more familiar with, but it's more of a complete doo-wop festival. And actually the happenings have been nominated to be inducted into the Vocal Group Hall of Fame. So that's somewhat impressive. Nonetheless, they will provide us with a phenomenal show. And then once that show has ended, everyone gets ready for the most fantastic fireworks show, as I was discussing earlier, by Zambelli. And they are, in my opinion, and there's maybe two or three that are the best in the world, Zambelli is one of them. And we've had them for several years now. And we should have about, I get, Darren, what is it, 16, 17 minute show? Yeah, about a 17 minute show, choreographed to patriotic music, hometown heroes, national heroes. And all in all, it's going to be a great day, but what we need is you. We need you to come celebrate community, celebrate friendship, celebrate being a good neighbor, being a business partner, just you know, being within the fabric of B-Town in Ben Salem Township. So I hope to see you Saturday, October 1st. There is a rain date, but we don't like to talk. that. That's dirty. That's a dirty word. We don't want to talk about that. But if, in fact, that does happen, it's the next day, October 2nd. If it rains October 2nd, I'm getting on a bus and just leaving. But in any event, I hope that you and your family and your friends and everyone will come out and I'll see you October 1st for Ben Salem Fall Festival Celebrate Community Pride. Take care everybody and we'll see you soon.